Hello and welcome back. Um, I've decided to go for something a little bit different today. I'm going to do a QA and a type video where I'm also going to draw on my iPad. Um, whenever the video is playing, I'll be in like the corner or something. I have an idea. My cousin gave me it. So yesterday I asked on my art account on Instagram, um, I put on my story, like, ask me any questions or anything you want and I'll get video I'll get answering them in a video so I have them all here with me Um, I got a lot of responses but a lot of them were like jokes from my friends and my cousins which wasn't really helpful but I'm gonna answer all the ones that I can Um, hopefully it goes well hopefully it's interesting just a bit about me about 10 months too late but um, yeah hopefully you enjoy so one of the first things I was asked was how are you finding university? I have to say like I'm really really enjoying the year. Obviously it's not as good as um, it could have been without coronavirus and everything but with the course I'm doing for my main workshop I think it's nearly the same as it would have been because I'm doing graphic design and illustration at the minute. Um, my whole course is a foundation year in art and design in Ulster University so um, it's sort of given us the option to explore all the different pathways we can go through for art and design in our university for next year. So for my main workshop at the minute, I'm doing graphic design and illustration and I'm really enjoying it. Um, illustration is what I had hoped to go on to do in my future. So I'm really hoping that I get a place onto the course next year. Um, it can be a bit tough going and um, I can be hard to keep up with the research and stuff we have to do, even though there's not, not that much, it's just something that I really don't like doing, so I always kind of leave it to the last minute. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying it at the minute anyway, so hopefully it stays that way. So I was asked what my favourite style of art to do is, and I don't really have an answer. I can't decide on one thing that I like the best because, like, oh, I do so many different types. I do, um, like, well, kind of realism. I try and make it look realistic, but sometimes it doesn't always work out the best. Um, so realism, semi-realism, cartoonism. Um, I don't even know if that's what she meant, but so those types. And then um, I don't know which my favorite is. Like it, it really does depend on what mood I'm in, what I'm planning on doing. Um, but I don't know. Overall, maybe like semi-realistic things or cartoony things. I don't know. I think realism is just a bit too much. Like, um, I don't know. Sometimes I don't understand why people want realistic drawings or paintings. Like whenever you can just have a photo that does the same thing. That's that's just me, obviously. Yeah. Also, I'm not really sure about this setup. I'll probably keep changing all the time because I can never decide on a place to go. Like I've gone from literally being downstairs in my house to up in my room and changing places about my room so bear with me because I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, one of the questions I got was are you planning on opening an Etsy store and I actually am like um, I've been thinking about it from literally the first lockdown about maybe April or May time I've been thinking about it and just I keep putting it off. <clears throat> I got really I was gonna say I got really um, into it into the idea for um, New Year's because it was one of my New Year's resolutions but we're already into March and I haven't started it. I've got virtually everything I need and um, I just want to get more ink for my printer just to make sure I don't run out and I want to make sure that I have things that I like up um, and like enough options that people might want to buy something but I keep putting it off I don't know why so hopefully I'll have one up soon enough um I can't give anyone a date and I can't say I'm definitely gonna do it because I keep checking out so provisionally yes I'll have an Etsy store um one of my questions was who is your biggest inspiration and um I don't have a one person like I follow so many artists and everything on Instagram that I really love their stuff um like Gabriel Piccolo Piccolo I don't know um Hikala um maybe 
do you know what i can't even pronounce half their names i'm gonna like put fo or put writing on the screen because i like they're all user names basically but a lot of inspiration from instagram i like to go on pinterest and look for um ideas to draw like nice photos or maybe there'll be people that have illustrations up um inspiration i used to write a lot whenever i was younger so like i used to redraw drawings off of books or like illustrations inside um so a lot of them would have been like nick charrett so um a big inspiration for me whenever i was younger or even disney i used to pause the tv and redraw scenes from films or dvd cases so a lot of it is like whenever i was younger redrawing things that i had around me um i don't know i just i, I try to take inspiration from everywhere because I don't want to be focused on one thing or one type. I probably should be. That's a bad thing that I do so many different types of things because it's sort of like jack of all trades, master of none. Do you know what I mean? And you kind of want to have one route going down I feel so that you can like perfect it. Whoops, I don't do that by accident. So I got a question that said, where do you see yourself in 10 years with your art? And it's so exciting. Um, but I would really love to see myself like in a big city working in an illustration firm or maybe like a publishing house or somewhere. Um, working with illustrating books and things. Like that's the big dream I feel like. Um, yeah, I would just love to be in a big city in like a like with a group of people that like the same thing as me working together. I just really always think about that and I think it would be so lovely. I got a couple of questions asking me like when did you start drawing or when did you start getting into art and honestly it's like forever. Um, my dad used to paint a lot and my mum was really creative with like crochet and arts and crafts kind of things so like they always sort of pushed all of us to be creative like there's four children in my house and all of us really like art um, and like all the time it would have been if we were sitting about and didn't know what to do it would have been oh go draw a picture that is just the way it's always been so I've kind of like been forced to practice and to keep doing more I actually still have a lot of my old sketchbooks and everything um, from whenever I was like really young. I could maybe go through them, potential video idea, I don't know. Um, I would get them out now, only I think they're in one of the rooms because I'm up in the attic so they're in one of these cupboards or something Um, I would have to go find them but I have a lot of old sketchbooks. Yeah, so all the time. Um, I remember being in primary two I think it was and my teacher actually took one of the drawings I was just doing after I finished my class work and um, she took one of the drawings I was just sitting doodling and put it in for an art show um, and that was the first time I kind of remember being like oh maybe I'm good at this um, and just over the years I've just always been drawing I also got asked if you could spend the rest of your life in a different country where would you choose and all the time whenever I was younger I used to like dream of going and living in America but now I'm I don't know I'm not too sure it's kind of a mess like isn't it um I don't know maybe like France or Italy would be nice um yeah maybe somewhere like that like nice and European and cool um I don't know maybe still could be America I love the idea of it, but it would need to be a better place than it is right now, to be honest. I'm to work in. Again, I have no idea. Um, so I do a lot of pencil and colour and pencil, maybe watercolour, gouache, acrylic, a lot of digital work. Um, I like embroidery. Um, 
I don't know which is my favorite, but like, I like all of them. Like I can never decide. And I've tried before to figure out which is my favorite, but I really can't. Like I really like changing it up. Um, Like one week focusing on something digital and then I'll take a while and I'll just be doing pencil and coloring pencil because even in the past while I spent like a month where I did a lot of digital um, drawings that I was hoping to put up for Etsy um, but then now the past week or two I've just been doing a lot of pencil or colouring pencil pieces mostly because they're commissioned but like I haven't really done anything on my iPad in a couple of weeks apart from like uni work maybe not even actually because it's all been done in sketchbook so far so yeah I just really do change it up a wee bit every once in a while I went through a phase during the summer where I just wanted to embroider everything um not for the first time either and then sometimes I'll just buy a load of canvases and paint for weeks so I have no idea my favorite medium is all of them basically a similar one is do you prefer working digitally or traditionally and um, I think I like them for different reasons like I like with digital that like you can just undo a mistake or if you've done something wrong you can just undo it and it's gone but I also like traditional feels more special to me like it's a one-off you're not going to get another one the same but digitally you can just reprint how many times you want so both <laughs> sorry <laughs> um but the first one was what's the longest amount of time you've taken on a commission and the biggest one i've ever taken on was a night like not even a nightclub like a disco for teenagers asked me to paint these five mannequins and just gave me like two months to do it so that was the longest um but it was brilliant like i just set them out in my garage and was taking my time painting them just putting on music i had a load of fun i had my friends over helping me um for one of them it was just it was really fun to do um and so i think that was about september to november 2019 yeah so that is the longest it's taken me but it was really fun anyway and that was before i had this account or anything so that that was the only one i had going at that time so it was just those um mannequins and it was good that i had that time because i was doing my a levels and all as well obviously and yeah, it was brilliant I hope you enjoyed the video Um, I'm filming this before I've even done the drawing so hopefully it turned out well and um, you can let me know if it's not good Um, please like and subscribe this video and comment and ring the notification bell if you liked what you saw Um, I might do more videos sort of similar to these or I might not but um, if I don't I'll see everyone again for the bullet journal video that I'll do at the end of the month again for April this time. <laughs>